One dab at a time, a work of art, months in the making. That's kind of been the story for this group of artists. Over time, learning how to overcome physical or mental disabilities to really shine. They're part of the nonprofit Living Opportunities. More than learning to paint, they're learning to live and they're learning who they are. Many of them today are now artists and are selling artwork. So it is the first identity that they have had other than that of a person with a developmental disability. When he's not painting, Andy is working here at KTVL, a huge accomplishment for someone who was never expected to develop beyond very basic life skills. Today, Andy works three jobs. Uh, he is an artist. And uh, a couple of years ago, for the first time, he had to pay taxes because he made so much money selling his art. Every Tuesday, Andy shows up with his infectious smile and empties our recycling bins. Yeah. Andy is really an injection of positive energy, I think, whenever he comes in. He's, he's excited to be here. He loves to watch Channel 10 News, and so he knows all of our on-air talent. And, uh, you know, he, he's just thrilled to be part of part of KTVL. We first met Andy visiting our studio to watch newscasts. On one visit, Living Opportunities asked if there might be some work he could do here. The folks at Living Opportunity made this so easy for us and it's really been a win-win for the station, for Andy, and certainly for our staff. Jim Gockenauer says it's a win for them too. I think one of the most wonderful things about working with uh, all of the folks at Living Opportunities is that you stop to learn and appreciate the simple things in life. A hello can be so important, uh, a thank you, a smile, a simple recognition. When we're all rushing today, it's a wonderful part of, a part of life. 